Artifacts recovered from the Rosenstock village near Maryland have thrown up somewhat of a conundrum for baffled archaeologists who recovered a bone fragment there in 1991 which appears to show an ancient deity. On further research of what the apparent squatting humanoid may be representing, the archaeologists actually noticed that the fragment was not a local pattern but a worldwide motif found all over the planet from the earliest petroglyph patterns to the first deities worshipped by people. A squatting humanoid figure that is actually a representation of the immense Aurora event of prehistory as replicated in laboratory conditions. A solar system wide cataclysm instigated by the planet Saturn in all her might and glory as worshipped from the earth during the golden epic of prosperity. Known in the Americas as the Hawker and misunderstood as the process of childbirth, the Zenith Pinch Squatter Man with spheroids at either side as the plasma goes through the phases that are commonly replicated in controlled conditions in the lab, this misunderstanding of this process is now being realized. Our ancestors were not drawing abstract figures. They were recreating in art the events they saw in the sky going through phases over a very long period of time and all over the planet is this replicated but also misunderstood. Samples from the Rosenstock village site near Maryland returned a carbon-14 dating of 1125 and this signifies a meaning that was understood even in these most recent times that was then lost to history. An understanding from a past event that became embroiled in mythological understandings that were not considered actual events. That is, until you realize that they did happen and the ancients would name their gods after the great sky happenings where deities such as Vishnu and Zeus could emerge seemingly with the same origin story. It's not that these gods visited each other's culture, but rather each culture could see the gods radiating in the sky, dominating the golden time before they apparently began to war. To Earth observers, the gods warred as the aurora went through discrete phases. This was the human perception of these events. Robert Funk and George Hamill of the New York State Museum say that the squatting figure is termed a hawker and is found throughout the world, including China. Southeast Asia, Australia, Mexico, and Peru, but to name a few other locations. Hawkers are apparently rare east of the Mississippi River, although they are common in Seneca Iroquois art, especially on bone combs. The found fragment close to Maryland would represent one of the earliest hawkers ever found in the United States. Hawkers are part of a worldwide phenomena of the repeated design as an element apparently depicting genealogy. Each hawker represents an ancestor, and the headless nature of some hawkers is seen as deliberate and symbolic. However, other interpretations are offered as well. It is possible that the raised rim of the Rosenstock carving represents a metaphorical door of a house, and that the hawker serves as a doorkeeper, again an Iroquoian notion. Edmund Carpenter notes that it is possible that the holes surrounding the figure represent joint marks used in divination by cultures in both Americas. While the possible social symbolism of the Rosenstark Hawker is purely speculative, it does provide some context for considering its possible function and meaning. In truth, however, the meaning of this carving comes down to an event in prehistory that was so decisive in the minds of the observers that they would go to great lengths to recreate these sky events so that the event would not be forgotten. Instead, it was forgotten anyway, and the attempted translations of the mythological past in a way that is force-fitted confounds our understanding and simply must now be brought back to the light from the darkest of minds that are mistaken in their assumptions. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.